great to be here talking to Imperial College uh, uh, Press because it's a very special day. It's a day of uh, graduation here at Imperial College. As you can see with the regalia, we'll be uh, processing uh, down the hallways at uh, Royal Albert Hall soon to have uh, PhDs awarded to three students of uh, Dr. Jones. Uh, and these are students who ha have learned their biomaterials largely from books that have been published by Imperial College Press that we've had the great joy of working together for editing them. Uh, the first of the books was, uh, was before Julian was on the faculty at Imperial College, Introduction to Bioceramics, which was published in uh, 1993 but has been a foundation textbook for the whole field of uh, bioceramics ever since that. And indeed used by me for my PhD. Uh, Julian used it for his PhD. So, th so today's uh, graduations will be the, you might say, academic uh, great-grandchildren. Gran uh, and then uh, during the time that I was here, the 10 years, and Julian was, did his PhD here and then has now running much of the laboratories, we launched the Tissue Engineering Regenerative Medicine uh, Center with uh, Professor Dame Julia Polak, and that led to another textbook, The Future Strategies for Tissue and uh, Organ Replacement, which is another foundation for this generation of students that will be graduating today. And in to celebrate the millennium, had the, uh, the pleasure of working together with IC Press to produce Science Faith and ethics, which discusses the consequences <coughs> of working to change the human body to maintain quality of life as we age. Well, in the 10 years since then, the field has just expanded so dramatically that uh, Julie and I uh, got together and are co-editing another volume that will just be coming out in this year, titled New Materials and Technologies for healthcare, and it is a very ambitious project. And uh, Julian, you want to say a little something about the breadth of this new project? It's more than just bioceramics or just tissue engineering. Yes, yeah, so the real, the real aim behind this book was really to to give people an overview of, of what's happening now at the time. So there's some fundamental content in it, but the real thrust of it is to is to give people. Um, up-to-date knowledge of, uh, at, a, at a very broad level of, of what's happening in all types of medicine and where materials are involved. So from heart valves to, to bone regeneration, uh, to tissue engineering, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. um, right at the forefront of what surgeons are using right now. Yeah, Most of the systems of the body will be represented in the 34 chapters in this uh, book. So it has a clinical focus, which is different from most of the biomaterials books that are in the field today. It focuses on the repair of the musculoskeletal and skin systems, on the cardiovascular system, on sensory systems, the nervous systems, and then the, the book ends with a few really critical chapters of the ethical issues that must be dealt with as we explore more and more the genetic repair basis of repair and then we actually finish this book with talking about the the ending of life death with dignity when technology no longer can preserve life what should you do as an individual as a professor as a teacher as a student as just a, any human being to prepare for those final days and that we think that that's one of the missions that uh, we now have in the modern technology-based society is to emphasize maintenance of quality of life in an affordable health care system and, at the same, and also to prepare for eventually the ending of life. Yes, the, the book gives a very broad brush and in 34 chapters it covers a lot of ground uh, but the, the aim is that <coughs> if people find certain areas really interesting they can then have the tools to go and find the journal articles uh, to give them the latest technical information. And uh, it's going to be one thing we're going to use it for here at Imperial College is it's going to be a companion to 
our MSc course. So we have uh, a one-year MSc course in biomaterials, and uh, and this will be a great companion to that course uh, for the students. Yeah. And the book will have a world impact, because uh, also now that I am a retired emeritus professor at Imperial College, I am still back uh, at the University of Florida on a part-time basis, creating a continuing education uh, course, and also uh, a small amount of time with King's College Guys Hospital, where we are going to be using this new textbook as a foundation for continuing education, for distance learning, for healthcare professionals, for engineers, for sales personnel, to give them the opportunity to come up to date with the technologies, because the every chapter has new development section with references all the way up through 2010. And those references will provide a window on the literature and the critical journals, the critical sources, websites, to be able to explore the field in the future, so that one of the problems that we face with books publishing today is that they can all too quickly go out of date. And so what we've tried to do in this book is to ensure that they're up to date as of 2011 and have introduction to websites that can make sure that they can follow the developments in the years to come. We, we hope it also um, shows to people interested in the field of medicine how important materials and material science is to the progress of medicine and, uh, and hopefully also attract good people into the field.